How do you feel about magic? Hey, it's Lenny Wenerstrom, and I am here to help you find your purpose on this channel. And one of the tools I use to help you to do that is Dr. Shad Helmstetter's book, 365 Days of Positive Self-Talk for Finding Your Purpose. So let's look at November 19th. It is day 324, 42 days left in 2024. 42 days left. What are you going to do with the rest of this year? Are you going to make it magical? Are you going to conjure up and understand that you are the director of your own life and create whatever you want to create? You have 42 days to do that. We are 88.52% complete. Lynette, my daughter, CosmicMoves.com, would be very proud of me for not saying 88.52%. So <laughs> I always laugh at the little things like that. So anyway, so here's the passage for today from Dr. Shad Helmstetter's book. When I let myself dream without limits, you are without limits. I am able to imagine the magic that is my future, the magic that is your future. I feel that future with purpose and with joy and that is the future I am creating. Let's spin that around to your higher self speaking to you or the the um, second person speaking to you, maybe a parent, maybe somebody that influenced you, somebody that you love or that higher self or you yourself telling you, telling you yourself what you can and cannot do and hopefully it's all about what you can do. When you let yourself dream without limits, you're able to imagine the magic that is your future. You feel that future with purpose and with joy. Doo -doo -doo! And that is the future you are creating. You are in charge of creating your future. You are moving, you are directing, you are all of that, moving that energy that is what I talk about a lot, that energy of the particle on the wave the energy that is so much more than the physical world, what you can see and touch and all of that, you are moving, you are create, you are setting goals and you are achieving them. You are actually looking at them every morning and every night and saying, this is what I want in my life. You're focused on what you want in your life and not in a way that is selfish or discouraging to others but it's about what brings you joy, finding your purpose and doing the things that bring you immense joy. That when you have your purpose, you have direction in your life and more importantly, you have meaning. And that meaning, it's fulfilling, it's satisfaction. It's, it's just when you achieve a goal, you know that it has not only helped you to have higher self-esteem, but it has created a better, a better world for someone else, a better life, something you have helped them in some way by reaching your goal because you have done something for others. It's not service to other, it's not service to self, it's service to others. And, and I know if you are on my channel and you are watching this, you are all about service to others and still, and in service to, in service to others, you are still creating the life that you desire. You are making the financial um, financial resources. You are creating that financial strength that you want. What well, yeah, come on. Here's Happy Beans, she wants to be up here. She's scratching away, here's Happy Beans. Happy Beans, do do do. But you are creating that future. You are bringing from the invisible, you're bringing, whoop. You are saying, this is what I want. I want this house, this car, this life. I want to create this business. I want to do this for this amount of people. I want to be a chef. I want to be a physical therapist. I want to be a nurse. I want to be a doctor. I want to be whatever it is you want to be. I want to be someone who teaches people how to ski or play piano or any of that stuff because you love it so mucho or how to sing, any of that stuff. And you love it so mucho that your heart overfloweth and you want to share that. You want others who are interested in that and that would make their, their lives better. You wanna share that. And so it's, an, it's a, an exchange, it's an energetic exchange of your skills, your, your, your um, gifts 
that are, are heightened by your skill set that you have added to it by learning and then you're teaching and sharing whatever it is of the how-to or any of that and making a life better for that and so you are receiving because you are giving you are receiving and that's how it goes here's happy beans thank you puppy she's just there she goes Doo -doo -doo. this is we're entertained all the time i'm sure that that's uh my little amish chair will be soon have a big hole in it and uh, we'll have to be you know upholstered somehow but anyway that's the story we just live and let live right or i can say okay could you stop now but i won't say that right now so i'll just finish this and then tell you how very much i love you and read this one more time for you just so that you know that you are unlimited you were born look at her she's quite the clown i don't know if you can see i don't know if she's like... i don't even know if you can see her yeah that you can see her <laughs> there now see that little pillow my mom made that pillow she made that for steve and myself um for steve and me um my grammar is so good sometimes but anyway she made that for steve and me and um for when we're traveling and she made these little other little pillows to put on our lumbar and um, one we use for the the laundry lynette uses it now to keep it open i don't even know where the second one is but um that's a big part of my mommy so she she would make quilts and she did it all pillows and she did all kinds of stuff she loved to sew so that was one of the things that she could give and it was service to others she did service to us she gave gifts all the time to others she would sew things she would make things she would bake things she'd bake bread she'd bake cakes and and give to others and this that that is a prime example of service to others her she was so skilled i mean she just by practice by learning and she didn't have the internet to learn how to do anything she didn't have youtube she would buy books like wilton if you're familiar with cake decorating and stuff and she would go to classes every once in a while she'd take a class and um we didn't have a whole lot of money so mostly she was self-taught but she would decorate cakes and she would sell them for weddings and things and um and she did and she didn't sell for a whole lot of money but anyway she was very very uh skilled in her creative ability she would paint she painted i have several of her paintings lynette has a couple of them um all of us uh, there are seven of us siblings of her children and we all have something of her but all of her creative her creative outlet it was in so many things that we would benefit from and and others would benefit so people in the in the church um, we were in the catholic church she was very very involved in the catholic church and so it was service to others and she got an immense amount of joy out of that and and so the thing is when you when you actually focus on what you want you receive immensely rather than focusing on okay i have to do this because or you know i th this is a job but i have to do this job because i have to make the money in order to pay the rent in order to i get that but how about focusing on what you really want what do you want you want freedom you want happiness you want peace really focus on that and start moving towards that while you are doing your job that you don't particularly care for but when you start really putting in the effort to know what you want and focus on that it's a game changer it's a game changer for you so when you let yourself dream when you move back into being that child that is now programmed remember you were born with unlimited promise and potential and then you got programmed as a child if you can go back and remember you could do anything people would ask you what you wanted to be and you knew exactly or had some idea that you wanted to be a nurse or a pilot or a, a construction have a million if you're a, a man who knows it could be women too but you would have all those little tonka toys and all kinds of stuff or little soldiers that or Indi cowboys and indians or i mean that's what my brothers grew up with <laughs> they're constantly one would win the other would win they'd always 
it, it, there was no judgment on what was what. They would, um, it, it, they would just, oh, this one won that and that one won this. And it, it, they just had fun and they lived. We all lived in a different way, playing football with all the neighbors out on the street. There were nine of us, so we could have our own football team. And, you know, it, it's just a matter of going back to, to your childhood and saying, what is it that I really want? What? And dream again. Dream and say, because dreaming is the beginning of the vision. And when you have a vision of something that you really want, and then you focus on it, and that means you put your attention on it, and you focus on what you want rather than what you don't want, and that's what you create. You bring from the invisible, especially when you set a goal, most importantly, when you set a goal, and this is how you can work with me, and I will help you to do that. You can go to any of my video that says, that talks about um, goal setting as a spiritual practice, because it is. If you're bringing from the invisible, you're bringing into the visible. So I hope that is helpful for you. I hope that you you get and understand the importance of this. When I let myself dream without limits, I am able to imagine the magic that is my future. I fill that future with purpose and with joy, and that is the future I am creating because you are the creator of your future. You are doing it. The only thing stopping you is you and it is you with programs. Change your programs, download the self-talk app that I have always in the description, download that, get 30 days free and see what I'm talking about. See, understand for yourself that when you allow that to play passively in the background, you may not like Dr. Shad Helmstetter's voice and, and or maybe you may not think, oh, this is, kind of a pain in the arse. It's just like affirmations said over and over again. No, it's not. It's very precise. It's a very precise language for the brain. And I don't know anyone who has done it, ha has done it period, except for Shad Helmstetter. So I would get that and I would keep it for the 30 days and watch how you can grow and put it and for any reason, just put it very passively in the background while you're doing something else, washing the dishes, taking a shower, um, driving to work, working out, taking a walk, whatever it is, making breakfast, whatever it is, do it and watch what happens in 30 days. 21 days to change a habit. This is neuroscience and it's also 21 days to dismantle a program and that's really what it is. And so, and is it exactly 21 days? you know, somewhere around there. The point is, if you have 30 days, what can you do with 30 days about dismantling programs that are stopping you, holding you back, that are harmful, are counterproductive? Your mental programs, over 77% of your conscious programs are all of what I just said, negative, harmful, counterproductive, holding you back, stopping you. And in your subconscious mind, over 90 to 95% just when you are on autopilot, when you're tired, when you, some, something triggers you, whatever that is. So imagine that the magic of the brain, and you don't have to imagine it because it's very true, it's science, if you want to go that route, but it seems so magical to rewire your brain, neuroplasticity, rewire your brain, the brain's ability to rewire itself every single, uh, with. It, every until the last breath you take so rewire your brain with the programs that you want not the ones that hold you back stop you are harmful and are that are counterproductive and all of that good stuff or bad stuff <laughs> there is no good or bad but just the stuff that does not serve you the things that you want to do in your life so let's turn it around one last time from your higher self or second person reading this to you or like a parent or someone that you love that has influenced you or does influence you. When you let yourself dream without limits, you're able to imagine the magic that is your future. You fill that future with purpose and with joy. Your purpose, your purpose brings you joy, it brings you direction, it is your direction. And that is the future you are creating. I love you so very, very much. You can do this, you can find your purpose, you can do, be, become, have, create, change absolutely anything. 
You are that powerful because your power comes from, from within. And that's the story. So, did I say I believe you in you? Because if I didn't, let me just say it again. I do, and hopefully you believe in yourself. As always, shining my light to brighten yours. We will see you tomorrow. Ciao.